Hello students, I hope you all are doing good. Uh, so in today's video, uh, we are going to understand this common mistake that most students do. So uh, we'll be trying to understand this exactly. When we have square root of x square, in this case, uh, when we come across these kind of things, when we are simplifying algebraic expressions or uh, in trigonometric ratios, in that case, what should we do? Should we cancel this directly? And uh, the answer is x or it is plus or minus x. So that is what is today's uh, video about. So we'll be trying to understand uh, the reason behind this and the maths that is happening. Okay. okay, let's take a very easy example before uh, we, we go into it. So let's take two example, one minus three square root of minus three whole square and one more that is square root of three square. So we'll try to understand both of them. So here, uh, if we cancel the root and square, we'll get minus 3. Okay, that is one case. But is it correct? Is, is square root of uh, minus 3 whole square minus 3? Is that correct? Okay, let's try to understand. Okay, let's, let's see minus 3 into minus 3, which is nothing but 9. And square root of 9, we already know that is 3. Okay, it is plus 3. Similarly, when we directly have 3 square, it is 3 into 3, which is 9. 9, square root of 9 is 3. So, there is a very important observation here. Whenever the square root of anything is always positive, it cannot be negative. It cannot be negative. So, this is the correct answer. The so square root of any, any number is always a positive number. Okay. So, if we had uh, done this thing, cancelling and given it as minus 3, this is wrong. Because square root of a number cannot be negative. That is the, uh, that is the whole idea here. Uh, let's understand. Let's take square root of x square. So, so the question comes, sir, then what is square root of x square? What, what is it? Can I cancel this and write x? No, that is wrong, right? We don't know what is the value of x. So, that is the reason we write it as mod x. Because uh, square root of a number cannot be negative. Okay, it needs to be always positive. So we take help of this modulus function. So modulus function ensures that the result is always a positive number. So here there will be two cases. Say x is greater than zero. Okay, in that case, when x is greater than zero, then directly I can write it as x. But when x is less than zero, the answer will be minus x. So this is how we get two cases. So, whenever we have square root of x square, don't directly cancel it, okay. Always take modulus of x and depending on the value of x, the answer will be there, okay. So, that is one thing. Let's see one more interesting example. Uh, let's take trigonometric ratios. Say, if we have y equal to root of 1 minus cos square x, how do we solve this? And if they have told us the x value is between pi by 2 to, say, uh, uh, pi to 3 pi by 2. 3 pi by 2. Okay, x value is between pi to 3 pi by 2. Okay, so what will be the answer? Let's try to understand. Okay, 1 minus cos square is nothing but sin square x. Okay, as I have told, we cannot cancel this directly because we don't know what is the value of sin x. If sin x value is negative, then we will be in trouble. So, the standard method is just take modulus. Okay, so how is modulus defined? Okay. So, here we know that x is in the third quadrant, pi to 3 pi by 2. Okay, let's take the quadrant. This is my pi, this is my 3 pi by 2. Okay, so in this quadrant, what is sin x? Sin x is negative, right? Sin x is, sin x is negative, is always negative. So, that means when I am removing this modulus, the answer is minus sin x. So, this is the correct answer. So, depending on where the x lies, the answer will come. Say, same example, if we had, suppose, y equal to 1 minus cos square x, but if in the question they are saying x lies between pi by 2 to pi, okay, in that case, what happens? So, this is again modulus of sin x, right? In, this is which quadrant? This corresponds to second quadrant. In second quadrant, sin is positive, right? Sin is positive. So, 
you can directly write Sinex. So I hope this concept is clear. So uh, th this helps you when you are solving algebraic expressions and trigonometric expressions. Okay. So never cancel square root and the uh, uh, square. Okay. Always take modulus. And uh, I hope this was helpful to you. If this was helpful, please share this with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. Thank you.